Hello friends, welcome to Vidyan Institute. In this video, we will learn how to create a new profile by cloning a existing profile and how to assign it to a user. So first of all, let me tell you that in Google Chrome, I have signed in as a system administrator and in Microsoft Edge, I have signed in as a user of Salesforce Org, whose name is Alex. So here is it. Now, currently Alex is assigned as profile, a sales profile, as you can see here. Now we will create a new profile for marketing role. So let's create a new profile. First of all, search by profile in quick find box. Clicking on profile. Now we can create a new profile by cloning existing profile. This is the only way. So on clicking the new profile, we can clone existing profile. First of all, select the profile which you want to clone. So also keep in mind that the user license is also associated with the profile. For example, if I want to clone a chatter free user profile, then the user license will also change. So let's clone a marketing profile and give it a name marketing new. We have cloned a marketing custom marketing profile and created a new marketing profile with that. And then we will assign it to, to John's. Now we have created the profile and now we can make the necessary changes, the permissions we want to give the access to Alex clicking on edit now first of all let's make some changes let's remove the access to account object so we can make it default off and clicking on save now after assigning the profile you will see that account object account tab will no longer be visible here also we have a contact object here and on clicking new I am telling this in the perspective of Alex. So this there are many fields. So like we don't want Alex that he is able to see the mobile field. So what we will do, we will also remove the access from his profile. In the profile only, scroll down to field level security. And now we are talking about contact object. So go to contacts and you will find it somewhere here. Here it is clicking on view. Now we will get the list of the, all the feeds and the permissions, the access the Alex has, the particular profile has currently, not Alex. Now removing the access to this field, the mobile field, we will select mobile and uncheck the boxes to remove the access, read access and add, edit access to this profile. Now we have done two things to the profile the new profile we have created. First of all, we have removed the access to this account object, this account tab, and also remove the access to a particular field in the contact tab with name mobile. Now let's see how to assign it to it to Alex. Search on users. You will get the list of the users on your org. And I am able to do, is, do, do this because I am signed in as a Salesforce administrator. You can see here myself Anirudh Kirk and here is my profile and you can see the profile of system administrator assigned to me and that's why I'm able to make the changes and Alex is the user so currently he's assigned a sales profile so now let's assign the new profile we have created to him I have clicked the edit button and now it's his detail will open now here you can see that he's assigned a role you can neglect that there is a role in the org now the license as I was telling you about license that also keep in mind the license of the profile which you are cloning because the license only these licenses are available here so clone the profile in which these licenses are available so that you can check it from below now click selecting the profile we have created it was with the name marketing new clicking on marketing new so the profile now we have assigned a different profile the new profile we have created to Alex click on save this new profile with the particular set of permissions which are the account tab is hidden and uh, the a particular field with the name mobile in the contact tab is also hidden for all the users whom this profile is assigned and currently we have assigned it to Alex so let's see what changes are reflecting on the Alex front end when you try to create the a new record so on refreshing the page now uh, it's showing that you can't access the lightning experience why 
because in the profile we haven't given the access to the lightning experience UI so let's do that as well it's also very important because the lightning experience is the new UI the Salesforce has created in 2015 and this UI is called classic version so we, we also have to give the permission as an admin we can have to give the permission that lightning experience UI is visible to this user using profile so clicking on the profile we have created its name was marketing new so let's go to M here it is now here you will be see that there is option to give access of in the administrative permission there is option to give access to lightning mode so it will be something somewhere here just a second yes here it is lightning experience user on checking it all the users who have, whom this profile is being assigned will get the access to the lightning ui now we can as the profile is already assigned on refreshing it you will see that lightning experience is available now for alex and if you still want to switch to the classic version you can switch it by using this click on switching switch to classic also although it's no longer used nowadays all the updates are made to the lightning version as well so it's highly recommended to use lightning version now as i have told you before creating the profile we have done two major changes first of all account tab was hidden and in the contact a field with name mobile was hidden for all the users whom this new profile was assigned so now you can see that account tab is no longer visible for alex this is because the profile we have assigned has restricted the access to that now let's see on the second change we have done on clicking contact tab and clicking new you will be see that the mobile field is no longer visible no it's visible so just check once again what went wrong here is the profile and let me check the permissions we have given so this is a profile and here we have the permission of field level security and we have selected the contact object so let's once again check there might be some mistake so now here uh, yes I have successfully unchecked it so it may reflect after some time sometime it happens that changes are not reflected within seconds sometime it takes some time so let me check once again all do yes you can see now the mobile field is no longer visible hence we have created our new profile in this video we learned how to create a new profile by cloning an existing profile and how to assign it to a user also i would like to tell you that a user can be assigned only one profile it can't happen that this user alex is assigned multiple prof prof profiles the profile we have created as well as the previous profile which was i think sales profile only one profile can be assigned but a single profile like we have created this marketing marketing new profile the new profile we have created just now it can be assigned to multiple users it's not that we can assign it it only to the alex there can be more users who can, who have assigned this same profile so that they can get the same level of access to the org which is very helpful because we have decided the access by creating a particular profile so this is all about that and in upcoming videos we will be learning more in detail about the security levels and how to restrict access to a particular record on a field on a particular object using there are sharing rules as well and validation rules many more things are about to come so do subscribe if you are yet to subscribe because i am i am making you learn salesforce from scratch there is no prerequisite at all even if you are from it or non-it background no prerequisite required so stay with me in this interactive course. Thanks a lot.